So welcome to chair yoga. This practice will be a 30 minute gentle practice using a chair for most of the practice. And then we'll come to some standing poses and use the chair for balance if, if needed. My understanding is that you have been cleared by your medical team to do some kind of movement-based practice. So always uh, practice mindfully, lean into how you're feeling. And if anything we're doing is not really in alignment with what your needs are today, then back out of it just a little bit, although we'll be keeping it pretty gentle. We're gonna start sitting in the chair and I always sit a little away from the back of it so that I can sit up nice and tall. If I'm leaning against the back of my chair, I tend to wanna to slouch back and I wanna sit up nice and tall so that my spine is long, my ribs, my lower ribs are just slightly tucked in just a hair so that I can feel that my middle back and my upper belly are in a nice alignment with each other. And what that means is that my breathing diaphragm has the room it needs to move, which means I can take an optimal breath, which means I will be feeling well throughout the practice. All that to say, sit up nice and tall, relax your belly. We're gonna start our practice today with the feet grounded on the floor and we'll start with the head, neck and shoulders. So take a nice breath in, close your eyes and sigh it out. And again, breathing in and sigh it out. One more time, breathing in, sigh it out. And then let's add some movement with the head. So we're just gonna gently look down and then up. Gently look down and then look up. And as you're looking up, I want you to really feel the lengthening of the throat. Looking down and then up. One more time, moving slowly and moving at the rhythm of your breath. Good, now let's move the shoulders. We're gonna roll them forwards, up, back, and down. And I particularly like to exhale as my shoulders are rolling down. This is like a release. So find the rhythm that works for you, but we are intentionally moving slowly and breathing in these slightly longer inhalations and exhalations than we normally would because we want our mind to slow down with our yoga practice. So forward, up, back and down. And then with the shoulders resting down, very gently, just move the head side to side. Now is a tendency to want the shoulder to become an earring as you reach it up. Resist that temptation. Just let the shoulders rest down. Your ear does not have to touch your shoulder, but we're just very gently opening the muscles in the side of the neck. Good, and then let that all come to rest. And we're going to take our hands and just lightly massage the back of the neck and that meaty muscle that connects your neck and your shoulder. And you can get into the front of the throat. And just rub there. This is a little bit of a lymphatic massage. As I record this, it's the beginnings of autumn and the temperature dropped quite a bit. And our lymphatic fluid tends to get a little thicker as we get into the colder season. So this kind of self-massage is really important. And I always like to include self-massage in my yoga practices so that we can benefit our biochemistry in all kinds of ways. Good. And also the warmth of your hands just feels really nice. All right, so let's let the hands rest down. Maybe your neck is feeling nice and warm. And we're just gonna round the spine forward and then back. So I'll show you a side view, rounding forwards, letting the tummy 
hollow in, and then lifting through the breastbone up and back. This is our cow pose, and this is our cat pose. Take a breath in here, exhale. Now what happens if you inhale here, exhale cat pose. Maybe that feels more organic for you. Keep whichever breathing rhythm felt better. Usually when people have their back bent, they like to breathe in because the muscular action of the back bend is opening the rib cage, which is opening the lungs. Just enjoy this nice arching and tucking of the spine. Good. And so I'm going to move my chair just to show you a side view of this next move. We want to go a little more into this back bend. So I'm just sitting on a basic kitchen table chair. And I'm going to hold on to the back of the chair and just lean forward and let my breastbone get nice and long. And this is a fabulous opening of the chest and armpit area. So go gently here. You don't have to lean too much if you're sore in this spot. But we do want to open that soft tissue. And you can play with where the hands go. Going higher up is a little bit more into the stretch. But just lean into the back bend. Let your breastbone get nice and long. And I always imagine I'm like the mermaid on the ship that's carved into the ship. Whatever image works for you. But just can you feel your whole self? committed to this back bend here. One more breath in here, sigh it out, come back to a nice neutral spine, roll the shoulders back. I'm gonna fix my chair again. And now let's find an easy twist. So we're just gonna to twist to one side. You can hold on to the chair for some stability and just breathe into the twist. Let your head stay soft, your neck is soft. Still feeling this sense of floating through the crown of the head. And then let's gently untwist and then we'll go to the other side. Find your twist, place your hands at the chair. Sit up nice and tall and just breathe here. Doing about four or five breaths for each pose, each side. Still breathing nice and slowly. Now we're going to find a side bend. So I'm going to scooch a little bit to one side of my chair. I'm still fully sitting on the chair, but I just scooched over a little bit because I want the heel of my hand to press into the seat of the chair because I'm going to reach over for a side bend. Now, if you're not at a place where it's comfortable to have your arm above your shoulder height, just Place your hand on your hip and you can still yawn the ribs in the opposite direction. We're gonna get into a side bend here. So just breathing here. And if you are able to have your arm overhead, really reach through your fingertips. Give me some jazz hands. So you feel that energy going all the way through the tips of your fingers. Let's reach that arm up if it was up, roll the shoulders back and just scooch to the other side of your chair. And again, press the heel of your hand into the seat of the chair. Let those ribs yawn over away from where you're about to lean and reach. It's not so much of a side bend if I'm just moving my arm, I wanna move my spine. So moving the ribs is a wonderful way to access that mind-body connection for a side bend. And again, if you're not able to reach your arm overhead, just hold on to your hip. Just breathe here. Take a breath in and reach it up. 
Come back to the center of your chair, roll it back. And now let's bring the hands together at the heart and we're going to do a modified sun salutation while sitting in the chair. So we're gonna inhale and reach the arms up. Exhale, bring them down. If you're not yet able to have your arms come over shoulder height, just inhale, lengthen through the spine, exhale, just find that softening. So let's inhale up, exhale down. Now we're gonna add a forward bend to this. We're gonna inhale up, exhale. As we bring the hands down, we're gonna slide them down the legs and just come into a forward bend. And then slide your hands up your shins, bring your hands to just below your knees and roll your shoulders back. So side view, roll the shoulders back. And this is what we call flat back. Take a breath in here, exhale, forward bend, and then inhale, bring the hands back up the legs, palms together, reach up, exhale, hands to your heart. So let's do that a couple times together as a flow. Inhale up, exhale, forward bend, inhale, flat back, reaching through the crown of the head. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, bring the hands up the legs, palms together, reach up. Feel the glory of this reaching up. Exhale, hands to your heart. We'll do one more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, flat back. So really use those back muscles, spinal muscles. Exhale, forward bend, and then inhale, reach the hands up, hands at the heart, and just breathe here. And now feel the energy moving through the whole of you. We always wanna check back in with our breath and this overall feeling of that state of yoga, which is the connection of mind, body, and spirit. So now we're gonna get a little more into the deeper muscles of the trunk. So again, I'm gonna slide shimmy to one side of the chair, enough that I can bring my leg back behind me. And I'm firmly holding the edge of the chair so I feel balanced and safe. But I'm gonna let my leg just drop down and I'm getting into the hip flexor here. This tends to get really tight if we sit for a long period of time. So bringing that leg straight down, let's reach it over into a side bend or hands on the hip if you need to. Cool. Just breathe into your side. And you might notice your breath feels different with your leg tucked back like that. And that's because the psoas muscle, the one that we're lengthening and stretching, is connected to your breathing diaphragm. So if it gets tight, your breathing might get tight, but now we're opening that muscle. So your breath might feel more open. One more breath here. Take it back up, shimmy the shoulder, slide that foot forward and we'll switch sides. Let's shimmy on over. <laughs> Bring that foot back and take your time to find your stability. I tend to have to shift my weight to find that Goldilocks just right. I don't wanna feel like I'm falling out of the chair. I don't want you to feel that way either. But I know I'm in this chair, I'm grounded, I'm safe. Got my leg extending back. Now let's reach over for our side bend. One more breath here. Come back up, let the hands help you to sit. All right, so now we've just got into some hip openers here. So we're gonna carry on with that, with the pose that we classically do standing, but we're gonna do it in a chair, it's called warrior two. So let's start by having the leg that you started with, that psoas stretch, where we're reaching back, let that one come out to a 90 degree angle. Okay, you're gonna be spacing more of the 
corner of the seat of your chair. Should be more towards the corner, forward. You're gonna bring the other leg back. Now, if you can keep the foot more on the ground, that's a deeper opening. You need to bend your knee, that's fine too. We're still opening the hips. You wanna really open the inner legs. There's a lot of lymph nodes in the groin area. And we're, in the, we're um, stretching that area to find some release and expansion in that lymph node. So this leg is at 90 degrees. The other leg is reaching back, nice and long in the torso. And then we'll bring the arms out, keep them at shoulder height. Keep those shoulders back and even press your arms back behind you just a little bit. So you make sure you're open across the chest. Make sure I'm level area. And then look over your middle finger. We're going to breathe here for five breaths. Keep your breath moving through your belly, your back, your sides, your chest. A sense of floating through the crown of the head. Such a strong and expansive, unapologetic pose. It says, I am here. I am taking up space. It is my right to take up space. I just love warrior two. One more breath in here. Bring those hands down, roll the shoulders back. Let your hands help your legs if they need it. But we are gonna go right to the other side. So find that 90 degree angle. Bring the other leg out back. Find your balance. Find those inner legs opening. Nice upright torso. We'll bring the arms out and we'll be here for five breaths. Looking over the middle finger. The shoulders rest down. Remember, we don't want the shoulders to become earrings. So let them rest down and back so we can keep the chest and the heart open. Let's bring the hands down, bring the legs together, and just take a moment to feel your legs. Let's take the meaty part of the palms of the hands and just rub them into the tops of the thighs. More self-massage. And now we're gonna come to stand. Well, standing part of our practice. And I'm gonna turn my chair so that you can see, but you can probably stay as you are but we're gonna use the chair for balance here. So we're gonna do that half sun salutation that we did seated, but now we'll do it standing, but the chair is going to be a prop for us. So standing in mountain pose, that's where you're just standing with your arms at your sides, or you can use the back of the chair for balance. If you wanna keep your hand on here for balance, just bring up one arm for tall mountain. If you're able to release the chair, let's release the chair. Inhale as we breathe up. Tall mountain. Exhale, bring your hands to the back of the chair. Step back, come into a forward fold. So you see, I've just hinged my hips back as far as I can. I'm letting my head go below my arms. So I'm opening the chest. If this is too intense, you'll slide your hands down towards the seat of the chair. Let's lengthen and strengthen the back by coming into that flat back. So squeeze those shoulder blades together. Take a breath in here. Exhale, forward bend. And then soften the knees. Let's inhale, reach up for tall mountain. And then bring your hands at your heart. So that's a deeper experience than sitting in the chair. Still feels amazing, but let's do it two more times to find the flow of it. So we'll inhale, tall mountain. Exhale. Forward bend, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward bend, soften your knees, inhale as you reach up tall mountain, exhale, mountain pose. Once more together, inhale, tall mountain, exhale, find your forward bend, Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. 
And then soften your knees, strong through your feet. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale, bring your hands at your heart. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna step forward my right foot. My back foot is back behind me and my heel is lifted. I'm on the ball of my foot. My toes are facing forward. We're gonna hold the back of the chair for balance and bend the front knee while reaching back through that back heel. Keep your belly long, keep your breastbone long. And we're coming into a pose called tall crescent lunge. So keeping the shoulders back and down, you can stay here if your balance is a little iffy, You're holding on to the back of the chair, or you can explore lifting up one arm or both. If you can't lift your arms overhead, maybe come to just lifting your arms up to be parallel to the shoulders. I should say the hands are perpendicular. Yeah. Getting my basic all mixed up. I just breathe here. Find what works for you. Press into your big toe of that front foot. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands down. We're gonna do a little bit of balance here. Just lean forward, step that back foot forward. I like to call it cat burglar style, really quiet so there's no thump. That means your core muscles were supporting you the whole time. All right, keep the left foot in front now. Step back to the right, going right to the other side. So your toes are pointing straight ahead. You're gonna bend your left knee as you, at the same time, push back through the right heel. Feel that lift in the low belly and the breastbone. Bring up one or both arms or hold on to the chair, whatever you need to do. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now, cat burglar style. Remember, lean forward. You'll feel your leg muscles really wake up. Woo, step it forward. Lovely. Kind of march in place a little bit. Okay, for the next pose, oh, I'll keep it to the side view. We're gonna do a, tr a pure balance pose called tree pose. So the leg that's closer to the chair will be your standing leg. And we're gonna just play with opening at the hip socket, the leg that's furthest away from the chair. Now, notice my hip is not cocking out towards the chair. We're gonna draw that hip in, be really strong in our hip muscles, and then place the foot at the ankle or maybe at the inner calf. Find your strength here. So your foot is the roots of the tree. So we're gonna come to a balance, placing the hands at the heart or you can hold on to the chair, totally fine. And if you like, you can play with your branches. Do they wanna come out? Do they wanna come up? Do you wanna stay here? What's your tree look like today? I like to sometimes keep my hand on my heart and just feel my heartbeat because that's the sap of the tree. It's all the goodness. Stand here and breathe with me. If you wobble, laugh, wobble back into it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, we'll bring that down. Feel all the energy build up in your thigh. That's great. It means it's getting stronger. So I'm just going to move my chair. You can do the same where you can just turn around. We're doing the same thing for the other side. So the leg that's closer is my standing leg. <clears throat> I'm going to find that ball and socket joint. I like to kind of warm it up to lubricate it before I actually come into the pose while also finding that my hip is not popped out to the chair. I'm drawing it in. And then draw your foot where it needs to go, whether it's the ankle or at the calf. Shoulders rolling back always. We just want to keep our heart open. <sighs> just breathe here. Find your branches. I'm going to keep my hand on my heart again because that felt really nice. Here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that down. Good. 
And we're going to do a little bit with the lower core muscles. So we're just going to slowly march in place. This is kind of a balance thing as well. But can you bring your mind to these lowest belly muscles to draw up the legs? So side view, I'm not bending forward at all. Just keeping that core upright. Just breathing with it. Okay, good. Let's do one more standing pose. So I'm gonna bring my chair back where it was. Remember we did warrior two, sitting in the chair. Now we're gonna do it standing, but with the chair for balance. So right when it comes forward, we're gonna step back wide with that left leg, bending at the knee, really pressing through the outer arch of that foot. See how the whole foot's on the ground? Really getting a nice opening <clears throat> in the hip right here in that psoas muscle. Bending the right knee as I reach back. So if I'm not reaching back and I bend, I'm just gonna lean forward. That's fine, but I wanna feel the equalness between both legs. And I'm gonna keep my hand on the chair here for balance and bring out my back arm. Now, if your balance feels good, you can bring your hand up. But I'll keep my hand here and we'll breathe here for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that hand down. Remember the cat burglar. Pivot that back foot. Ooh, step it forward. You get stronger. That, that's actually a balance pose we're doing to be the cat burglar style. All right, left foot's forward. Right foot comes back. Nice wide stance here. Now I'm wearing socks on carpet. It's a little slippery for me, so I'm really grounding in. Obviously, if you have a yoga mat, you could have that down. Or you don't have to step as wide. But bending that left knee, extending back through the right leg, Bring up the back arm and just connect with your breath for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, cat burglar. Bring it up. Good. Let's just shimmy out the knees. And we're going to come back to sit. And we're actually going to start wrapping up. I can't believe it's already been almost 30 minutes. So again, just sitting in your chair, I want you to take a moment to check in with how your hips are feeling in particular. This practice today was a practice to strengthen the hips and legs, open the inner groins, get some energy moving through the lymphatic system down there, but also the lymphatic system around the chest armpits with all the warrior poses and the sun salutations. Oh, so just feel your breath here. And let's do one more pose seated as we start to come into a meditation. We're going to bring the arms out like a T and let one palm face the ceiling, doesn't matter which one it is, and bend at the elbow. Just pat yourself on the back. Roll the other shoulder in and just bring the hand behind you. Your hands do not have to touch, but we want to bring the elbows back behind. And just breathe here. If this is as far as you go, this is as far as you go. But just see what happens if you get a nice lengthening in the upper arm while bringing that armpit flesh back. Just breathe here. And you might have noticed that all these poses are about keeping your chest open, your heart space open. How does that feel to be open, right? Just feel the beauty of space. Okay, let's bring down the lower arm, release the upper arm, shimmy the shoulders. We'll do that for the other side. So bringing the arms out like a T, flip the other palm up now, reach it up and back, roll the other shoulder in and reach the hand behind you. Ah, just breathe here. Mm. You can just feel that armpit flesh reaching back behind you. Feel the beauty of your heart. Good. 
And then we'll just gently release the arms out and just roll the shoulders. A little shimmy with the shoulders backwards and just alternatively rolling one and then the other. Let's come back to some easy cat cow, just slow motion, baby movements. And then from here, let's just settle into a quick one minute tuning into yourself meditation. So I've got my palms down on my thighs, or you can place one hand on your heart, the other hand on top of the hand. And just breathe here. Feeling the rhythm of your heartbeat, the rhythm of your breath. And feeling the whole of you, like you're feeling the periphery of you. All at once. And feeling all the energy that's moving through you from head to toe. The energy that is expansive. The energy that draws you into your deepest core knowing of yourself. The energy moving up from your feet through your head. The energy moving down all the way to your feet, keeping you grounded. And then the energy that's just at the middle where your breathing diaphragm is. The energy that grounds you down and lifts you up. Just breathe here. Find a sense of gratitude. Feel thankfulness for what you're able to do today in these past 30 minutes. We just moved our body in so many planes of motion. Felt our strength, felt flexibility, felt balance. And it's amazing. So let's bring our hands together in prayer. Take a breath in together, sigh it out. Say thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in this chair yoga practice. There's a lot you can do in a chair. So you can do this practice anytime you need to get some movement flowing and going in your mind, body, and spirit.